No one that I've seen on YouTube so far is talking about something that's incredibly bullish for Bitcoin. Now, I've been thinking about this and people are talking about Bitcoin spot ETF being approved within the next couple of weeks, right? We're talking the first week or second week of January. If that happens, of course, we're going to go on an absolute parabolic run. It's absolutely insane. I was seeing numbers that even if uh, every millionaire in America, just America right now bought Bitcoin, they would only be able to buy 0.1 Bitcoin. That's it. And that's just in America and just millionaires. That's like absolutely insane. I think the supply shock that's going to happen when the Bitcoin ETF gets approved, I believe it's a, a, a it if not when, no, when not if, I think it's a when not if situation for the Bitcoin ETF. I do, however, if you know my channel, believe that we're going to have, you know, some crazy choppy action and something is going to happen between now and the ETF approval that people aren't expecting because it's all going a little bit too nicely. But that's not what this video is about. I wanted to quickly discuss with you something that popped into my head that I actually didn't consider is so bullish for Bitcoin and the supply of Bitcoin, like it, uh, to be precise, the supply being sold or traded. And as we know, with less Bitcoin or less supply being traded, this is going to make uh, if people want it, if there's demand for Bitcoin, this is going to make the price rocket, right? If no one's selling it. And I believe there's something that is actually stopping people or will stop people from selling even more Bitcoin than they are today. And today it's around 75 to 79% of all Bitcoin hasn't moved in like over a year. So none of us are selling it. I'm not selling any of my Bitcoin right now. And I think this is going to increase drastically with the Bitcoin ETF because of one thing. Now, to make sure I benefit from this happening, I have long positions open on Bitcoin, right? These are big very leveraged positions. One of them I've been in since 26,000, that is in 2.7 thousand percent profit. And another one that's in 446% profit that I opened again at $41. You can open similar trades like this over on Margex. There's up to $10,000 of a deposit bonus down there in my description if you do want to do something similar to me. And I think that this is going to pay off very well. Of course, you need to practice good risk management, but head down to uh, the link to Margex, sign your up, you can access it from anywhere in the world. I repeat, you can access it from anywhere in the world. No KYC, no data or information about yourself needs to be provided and you don't need to use a VPN to access it. But of course, you need to follow the rules and regulations in your own country, okay? But the reason why I've got these positions open, my biggest position in Bitcoin is still there. I'm holding it, my number one position. And the reason why I believe things are going to get even more parabolic when the ETF is approved is simply because big uh, people, institutions, people with a lot of money, or people who are just money savvy, so they know what they're doing with money, will be able to buy Bitcoin in the form of the ETF and then take loans against it. Right now, people, instead of paying tax, for example, they take loans, they put their uh, stocks up as collateral, and they take loans against those stocks, and they use that money to live on rather than using, you know, a salaried income or something like that. That's a way you can avoid legally paying tax on a lot of your income. Right now, they only have the opportunity to do that with the S&P 500, with gold ETFs, with that sort of stuff. But now, if the ETF is approved, they're going to have the opportunity to do that with Bitcoin. And I believe that a lot of people, let's say they have 10% of their net worth in Bitcoin, in gold, right? In a gold ETF and they're borrowing against it. I believe that a lot of those people with the ETF approved will move a significant amount of their funds, maybe one, two, three, five percent of those funds into a Bitcoin ETF and then start taking loans against that Bitcoin ETF. And I think it's just a hunch that this could increase the amount of Bitcoin that never moves. Like we have right now, 70 to 80%. This could push that up to 90, 95%, something like that. And if we have 5% of Bitcoin that's traded, right? We got 2 million Bitcoin left to be mined. We've got 2 million right now on exchanges. So 4 million, right? We take away another half of that 2 million. At the price of Bitcoin continues to rise. We've got the halving. We've got all of this stuff. I just think that it's going to be so parabolic and I want to be part of that 
moon mission, right? So I wanted to make this quick video to talk about this because I hadn't thought about that. So let me know if you think that I'm onto something here or maybe I'm just talking a load of nonsense. If you want to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing in this market, there's a link down there to my Patreon. You have my trades. You would have seen those trades that I did there with the thousand percent gain. You would have seen me open those trades. So that's what I do over there. On top of that, you get access to my portfolio. You also get access to a whole group of awesome people. And if you don't like it in the first three days, you send me a message and I just give you a full refund because why not? With that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.